What's up everybody, this is Travis my Breamback, and welcome to your fourth Java tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is introduce you guys to the while loop. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know what this does, especially if you guys have done programming before, but this is just for people that, you know, don't haven't used uh, or haven't done any programming. So, it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial and just kind of introduce you to what the while loop does and how we can use it, and also kind of use some variables as well. So what we're going to do first is delete these two dig methods of Jerome. And also most of you guys are probably wondering, does he have a dog named Jerome really? And the answer is no, I don't. But I'm going to pretend like I do for the rest of this series. So just keep that in mind. And then what we want to do is we want to set up a couple of integers. So we're going to say int and we're going to say uh, start. That's just what we're going to label it as. And as before we could say start is equal to zero, something like that. But, you know, that's kind of overkill. What we can do is also say something like start equals zero on the same line. So we're defining our integer and we're setting it equal to zero. And then we also want another integer uh, called finish or whatever you guys want to label these. And we're going to say finish is equal to 10. So now we've defined two variables. Both are integers and both have an assigned value to them. And now we can use our while loop. So we're going to say while, and then within parentheses, we're going to set up our variable. So start is less than finish. And then after outside of those parentheses, parentheses sorry, I can't speak, we're going to hit our uh, brackets right there. And we're going to put this bark method within those brackets. So there you go. Now, don't run it, don't run the program here because uh, I was doing this tutorial and I ran it and it basically crashed my program or crashed, crashed my computer and I had to start over but uh, basically what's happening right now is you can see start is equal to zero and finish is 10 so zero is always going to be less than 10 and uh, so that's going to be an infinite, infinite loop and it's just going to keep barking 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 and then crash your computer for the most part I was going to show you guys that but uh, Obviously, it didn't work out the way I thought it would, and I had to start over. So it's not a big deal. But how we got how we get out of a loop out of a loop is basically set this equation or this expression so it's false, so we can break the loop. So how we're going to do that? Well, we can either say um, we can either decrease our value of finish to something lower than zero, or we can increase our start value to something greater than ten. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say start equal to start plus one. Now this is kind of a confusing statement especially if, for you mathematic people um, because you're like that's impossible. It's not going to happen. But uh, what's going on here is basically saying what is the start value? Well it starts at zero so we're going to say zero plus one and that's what we're going to set up start to equal now. And that's going to loop through again and now start is one and it's going to loop through again and this is going to be one plus one and that's what this starts now going to equal which would be two. Now that's kind of a confusing way to type and it's kind of bad programming but you can type it that way and it'll work but the way that you probably want to program and it's easier to remember is plus equals one. Now what's happening is start is going to add one to itself each time it passes this uh, this line right here. So it's going to be set to zero, it's going to run through and then it's going to go back up here, and now it's 1, 2, 3, up until it goes above 10. So we're going to save that and run it. I just want to show you guys it works. And here we have 10 wolves that printed out. Um, so that's kind of what the while loop is and how it's useful instead of writing Jerome Bark 10 times, which would kind of be boring. But there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you next one. Peace, guys.